can you please clap for me? Slate? Slate! <laughs> What's your name? My name's Simon. <laughs> Why did you choose CS? Um... <laughs> Is money an option? <laughs> Mind and weed and psychology and spiritual traveling and stuff like this. So, Def? Ah, one more time. Ah, 이 정도로 목소리를 깔고 아니면 목소리를 올려. Uh, my name is Youngju. I'm in class of 2021 and I'm majoring in CS and Interactive Media. My name is Simon and... <laughs> Wait, which one first? Your name, nationality, mm -hmm. class Do I have to name. say it in that order? Yeah. Okay, Simon, Korean, Computer Science, class of 2019. When I first came into NYU Abu Dhabi, I was first inspired by this guy who was already majoring in CS. Um, I thought CS was a new opportunity to find a new ways to think and coding itself seemed very interesting so I'll... Well at first I didn't know that I didn't know computer science had anything to do with programming it just had the word computer in it so I was interested in it so I took the AP computer science exam and it was pretty fun and it was very empowering because coding lets me create things that I wouldn't usually be able to make so that's how I got into CS but uh, the reason I continued it is because I thought I could use computer science as a tool to build on my dream which I can tell you now or I can tell you later dun -dun -dun -dun. I want to contribute to the camera industry so that people can share their ideas and feelings and emotions and their moments. Probably you'll be starting with uh, Introduction to Computer Science and then it goes on to Data Structure and Algorithms and then afterwards there are more advanced requirement courses such as Software Engineering, uh, Operating Systems, Computer System and Organization course. Uh, you also have to take two electives, mm -hmm. two major electives that root that relates to computer science. I took Introduction to Databases in New York and hopefully taking other interesting electives later on. I just want to mention that the CS curriculum, it starts out really fun. Yes. It starts out really fun. Intro to CS is really intriguing. And then you have these theoretical courses like discrete math, uh, data structures, algorithms. And then you have the hardware related courses, which are like OS, network, CSO. Those courses are what frustrates a lot of students. Some people like it, but um, <laughs> yeah, I just want to mention that. That kind of, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Yeah, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. CS does provide a good foundation for other majors as well, because CS has a lot of common areas for engineering, even math and interactive media as well, because it involves both coding and theoretical components. Yeah, you can branch out in a lot of different ways. Yep. <laughs> Should I go? Okay. Go. Uh, my favorite course was Introduction to Databases. I think oh, it's it's the course that I felt most useful in real life. I'm currently interning as a front-end developer in a, at a startup in Korea. The stuff that I learned in this course has strong relationship to what happens in real life and in real companies. And I'm currently using all the stuff that I learned in this course in my internships. I think in Korea as well as abroad are requiring even front-end developers to know how back-end server works and how databases work. So it'll be a great potential for those who even who wants to go in the field of front-end development to know how databases work. I'd say computer graphics. First of all, it's not at all like Photoshop or like designing things. It's like a lot of math linear algebra and programming and it's very geometrical so it's not for art people it's for like very mathy people it gets into the foundational algorithms that form the photoshop software i had a lot of fun learning what goes on behind photoshop yeah yeah of course i first came in as a economics major i think i changed my major in my spring semester of my freshman year I think it was the same question that I had when I was changing my major because I had zero experience with coding or zero experience regarding computer science. But a lot of the students actually came from different majors as well. 
and there are a lot of support within the community. If you follow along with the program, I think there's no problem at all for people who, who had no prior experience uh, to computer science. My final project in machine learning, I gathered all the data from Instagram, not all, but like a few thousand. I tried to... My English is so bad. <laughs> Can I start all over? <laughs> dun 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 dun. My most memorable assignment was my final project in machine learning. I gathered a lot of data on Instagram and I tried to predict how many likes you can get based on the content of the photo or the visual qualities. To tell you the conclusions, it has nothing to do with the visual qualities. It has everything to do with the social aspect. If it's a selfie, you'll get a lot of likes. My most memorable project would be in my introduction to computer science. It was the first time I was coding and it was also my first time creating something using Python, which was a language that I learned in that course. I had to make a game, and it was a game called Battleship. If you were to take computer science, it's also going to be one of your projects. I think the reason why it was most memorable was because I spent three days in a row sleeping like less than four hours within those three days, trying to code, and trying to debug what- Four hours went. every night, or four hours combined? Combined. What? Yeah. Even though it was a group project, the people who were in my group were along the same line as me. No prior experience, first time coders. So we had to go through what was wrong, line by line. And I think that experience served a good experience, depending on where errors happen and like how you should code in order to um, prevent uh, the program from failing. Well, there's the NYU Abu Dhabi Hackathon for Social Good. Most, if not all, computer science students partook in the event as an organizer or as a participant or a mentor. It's basically a competition where you use like three days to build something that's useful for the local community. What else? There's HackAD, which is a student interest group, SIGs, we call them, that organizes a lot of workshops that's useful for students. They hold uh, mini hackathons. Oh, there are WeSTEM oh, yeah. conferences and workshops as well. They have a lot of events geared towards younger students, like in mm -hmm. high school or mm -hmm. middle school, so that they can better get into the field of STEM. So they have a lot of conferences where you can volunteer. There's a lot of internships on campus as well. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Research positions. The ones I did was I helped one economics researcher like make an interactive game. Mm -hmm. And another thing was I helped a physics professor. I kind of quit in the middle, but I helped. I tried to help him simulate and visualize like galaxy formulation. Ooh. Students just reach out to the professors, and they ask for opportunities. And the professors will usually let you work with them. And also they post positions on student portal where you can just sign up and then they'll have an interview and stuff. I also interned the university web team. I think the good thing about having an internship within the university is that it's very close because you know the dormitory is inside the academic buildings and the good thing about interning at a web team within the university is that they do provide certain levels of training for people who are have no experience regarding the development they, they want. At the time, I had no experience regarding the server or uh, backend stuff. Fortunately, the team was really welcoming and they did provide a substantial amount of training regarding the backend stuff and they guided me in the way of like where I want to be later on. Well, there's the Unix lab. So the name is Unix lab because they have Unix machines. Unix is a, it's an OS. But the reason students actually go there is not for those machines. No, but people barely use those. Am I allowed to say this? Anyways, <laughs> people usually go there to mm. mingle with other students or hold meetings. So it's like a general space for CS students and other engineering students. Another very nice feature about this lab is... <laughs> We have Unix lab tutors or monitors who are very welcoming and nice. They take their time to explain things very easily to students who are having trouble with their coursework. I worked at the Unix lab for about a year. Yeah, I had a lot of fun helping people make their games in intro to CS or solve <laughs> complex problems in data structures. We should do a better job publicizing. Please like, subscribe, and comment.
Oh yeah, the hackathon, uh, the NYUAD hackathon for social good. It's organized by the school and a lot of students as well. They try to incorporate a lot of NYU Abu Dhabi students so that they can gain experience and network with other students and workers from companies all mm -hmm. over the world. Mm -hmm. When I first participated in this hackathon, I barely had any experience, but the people in my group had experience in hackathons multiple times. Being in the same group with those people provide a lot of motivation. Yeah. We sound like propaganda, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the courses have exam, but some of the courses have projects. So how are the exams like? <laughs> Normally, CS courses have midterm exam, a final exam. Usually, CS exams don't have any multiple choice questions. People may expect that in exams you have to like write code and stuff, but in most of the exams in CS, the professors literally say, do not write code in exams. So you usually have to explain the concepts that you usually would be coding. Even if you have to code, you usually have to write pseudocodes, which are condensed version of how certain al algorithms work or certain process works. And there's not a lot of quizzes. It's usually just a midterm and a final exam, if there are any. The others are mostly like projects. I think it started off with three or four and like it's really is, it's yes. really subjective mm -hmm. you start off with three and four and then like oh i think cs is pretty doable yeah pretty yeah. doable and then like this as you get nothing. into like advanced major required oh, courses shit, was wrong. it the number Ooh, rises to like <laughs> the number <laughs> rises to like eight and some people it, it will rise to like 10 or 11. Take it. Do it. I think there's a lot of questions about how to choose your minor because mm -hmm. for computer science majors in NYU Abu Dhabi, one minor from either math, science, or econ, yeah. or I am, yeah. is required. And it really depends on what you're interested in. I think another <laughs> advice would be computer science is not all about coding. So mm -hmm. some people, when they enter this computer science realm in university, they think, oh, I'll be like coding during the four years of my life in, in university. But in reality, you'll be coding for one or two, or maybe three courses. For other courses, you will be focusing on how to think as a computer science major. So it's, it does involve a lot of theoretical stuff. I want to program for the four years and I will only want to be focusing on the pragmatic stuff then I don't think CS as a major would be suitable. Maybe minoring in CS in that case would be better. There is another major core called um, interactive media, which focuses more on the creative aspects and creative coding. I think that might be a better option. Before you declare it as a major, take intro to CS and discrete math. Mm -hmm. Those are the two required courses anyway. They will show you the fun of CS and the hardships of CS. So if you like them both, really get into it right now. But um, if you really have trouble with discrete math, maybe it's not for you. But mm -hmm. then I know a lot of students who didn't so do so well in discrete math, but math isn't everything. Even if you don't like it that much, you can still go on with it. Yeah, I flunked in um, discrete math. Flunked, <laughs> flunked as in you got an F? No, I didn't get an F. Oh, like you got an I... Asian F. Asian you a, F. You got an A minus. No, I got a B. <laughs> You're watching Maggie Ann's channel. I had a thought like, oh, like, is CS the right major? But as you go on, like, there are other courses that you'll still find interesting. And I did really well with data structures and algorithms. So first, try out Intro to CS and Discrete Math. And then if that's, you still can decide, also take data structures and algorithms. Those two are like the huge component of, of CS. And, and they really teach you how to think as a computer yeah. scientist. Would you still choose CS as your major? Ooh, yes. Yes. Whoa. Okay, perfect. Next question. Wait, that was it? <laughs> You're not gonna ask why? No, no, no like, reason. That's it? You're watching Maggie Ann's channel. Why? No. I think we should put it because otherwise it would be a propaganda video.
Okay, do you guys any have any regrets of the CS curriculum? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a real propaganda.